In this video, I'm going to show you how to lower the pH of your skincare product. To lower the skis of your skincare product, you can either use lactic acid solution. You can see lactic, lactic acid at uh, major skincare product suppliers, uh, ingredient suppliers, and I also have a link in the description box below. So to lower the pH of your skincare product, you need to use acid. So in this case, we're going to use lactic acid. That's one option. And secondly, we're going to try citric acid. So you can either use any of that and also what you need is a, a pH meter you need a pH meter I highly recommend uh, Anna pH meter you can see a link in the description box below for where to get it um, if you're still using pH strip then you haven't started from latent yet so you need to get yourself a pH meter so that being said let's jump right in you get your lotion this is a lotion you want to test then we're going to Take some. I'm going to put some in this uh, beaker. This uh, this procedure also applies to serums, uh, cleanser, you know, any any liquid, anything that has a uh, water in it, any skincare product that has water in it. So the first thing you want to do when you finish uh, formulating your skincare product. The first step is to check the pH. So you want to make sure the pH is it uh, is okay. So if it's not okay, we're going to adjust it. So let's check the pH. The pH of this skincare product is 5.3. But for the purpose of this uh, video, I, I want you to see how I check it, how I check it, and how I adjust the pH. So to check the pH of your lotion, you get a scale. You put one gram of your lotion into the scale. One gram. Then you put nine gram of distilled water, making ten gram. And that's a bit too much, so I have to. I have to reduce the water. A bit. I'm going to start again. Just watch me. You might, you might have made the same. You, you may also make the same mistake. So just watch it and correct yourself. We're going to get one gram. One gram of your lotion. One gram of your lotion. And you're going to get nine gram of water to make ten gram. Good. So now that we're there, you're going to mix it very well. So that's the this part we're checking the pH. The first step to adjusting is to check the pH, right? So mix it very well. You turn on your pH meter. Then you put it in and wait for the reading. Testing the pH of your lotion takes a bit of time, but it's worth it because you want uh, want your customer to have the best experience. You want your um, preservative to work at a optimum level. So that's why we check the pH. So without wasting time, the pH of this skin, uh, product is 5.3. So I would like to lower the pH to maybe. I would like to lower the pH. So what you do, we're going to add uh, acid. Acid for lowering, while base is for increasing the pH. So this is my lotion. I have it here. I'm going to add lactic acid drop by drop. So 
whether you have a large pile or more anything you have because we deal in the natural uh, industry we don't use synthetic chemical people use to adjust the pH in the synthetic world everything about natural is you know non-toxic uh, we don't want to use trichloroamine for instance to change the pH because it's synthetic it's just not not safe it's too toxic that's why people that are still using synthetic skincare products should watch it because they are very toxic so now you had uh, lactic acid add two drop at a time then you mix it make sure you add this to your batch okay it has to be added to all the batch the batch that you are doing Mix it very well, then we're going to now check the pH. So what we do again is we take one gram, one gram of our lotion. And nine gram of water. making 10 gram so it's also called 10 percent if you if you're making a um a hundred gram uh lotion so you mix it very well remember the ph the other time is 5.3 right so we want now let's check if this has been reduced mix it very well now we'll put in your pH meter make sure the pH meter make sure you rinse the pH meter anytime you want to use it. it's very important because it might affect the reading okay make sure you rinse the pH meter and pat it dry don't want it to affect your readings then you put it in and turn it on and you can see the pH has reduced tremendously as you can see it was 5.4 the other time now it's 3.2 so that's exactly what uh, lactic acid do it's even worse uh, with citric acid now 3.2 is not a good ph range for a lotion isn't it so i'm just doing this to show you guys how to reduce the ph of your lotion your lotion at least you have the ph between 4.8 um, 5.5 to be safe okay so that you can see the pH right now is 3.2 so that's what you use acid for now let's try citric acid and see what effect we get anytime you use your pH meter you always rinse it and turn it off so citric acid is gone now let's try lactic acid we're going to follow the same procedure rinse the beaker you use then we're going to take one gram now we've already checked the ph right and we want to reduce the ph using citric acid so we're going to take more lotion and put it in here So that's the lotion we want to we want to use citric acid to reduce the pH. The same applies to this. You need a, a disposable pipette here. Yeah? Not pipette. You need this disposable um, applicator or whatever I call it. I've even forgotten the name now. So for citric acid you have to be careful. You need to have little bit because a little bit goes a long way so i'm going to only use a drop of citric acid okay a drop is enough because that drop goes a long way to reducing the the ph of my lotion now let's check the ph
this is a new batch of lotion that I put in, so not the other one that we reduced. I think I added it too, isn't it? Anyway, just for you to see, this is what you do when you... So we take one gram of the lotion. And nine gram of distilled water to make 10 gram. We mix it. So we mix it very well. Then we'll take it, bring it our pH meter, turn it on, put it in. <clears throat> Remember, we did this something the other time. We didn't, we didn't check. We're supposed to check the pH first before we try the citric acid solution. Okay, so the pH right now is 3.7, right? So we're going to give it a try again. We want to further reduce it, even though it's not. Uh, it's not the best, but I just want to show you how citric acid dramatically reduce the pH of your solution. So I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to add two drops of citric acid to the same lotion, right? So it was not, we got 3.7, right? So note that down. I'm going to take two drops and you're going to see how citric acid can mess up your your lotion if care is not taken so I use two drops so let's see the pH we get now mix it thoroughly you know once you've been doing this for long you're going to get used to it so we go back add one gram Make sure you press tear on your weight, on your scale. Let's see how, how, what we get now. One gram. Then nine gram of distilled water, making 10. That's a bit too much, but that's okay. Mix it very well, then bring in your pH meter, turn it on, put it in, and let's see what we get. The other time we got 3.7, right? So let's get, let's see what we get. We only use two drops of, and we got 3.5, so. Lactic acid reduces it further, so that's ex I mean, citric acid reduces it further by 0 0.02. So that's exactly how you reduce the pH of your lotion. If you have any question, feel free to drop it in the comment box uh, below. Any suggestion, better way of doing this, and you know, nobody knows it all, right? So if you know better way of adjusting pH, but in the natural skincare industry, we do not use trichloramine. No, we use our uh, acid and and base uh, solution alkaline solution to adjust the pH any suggestion any question feel free to drop in the comment box below remember subscribe to the channel and click the notification icon to be notified when I upload a new video if you are an upcoming formulator or you are even a pro formulator or an intermediate formulator you can gain a lot from this channel so I highly encourage you to subscribe so as to get uh, news on the latest trend in the industry and uh, an efficient way to make your skincare uh, uh, products and ways to make safe and stable skincare products thank you so much for watching